truthfully, I am. Um, I've always wanted to work with Michael Hurst. I'm mean, a big fan of his work, and, and I did a show before called Camelot, and Michael was involved in in the the, the pre-production for Camelot, and uh, and I took that role thinking that I was going to get to work with him. And by the time I joined, he'd moved on to other ventures. Um, so everything felt like it went full circle because now I kind of ended up working with Vikings because of Morg No Sullivan, who was uh, the producer on both of them, uh, and it's been everything I've ever dreamed of. It's been a, a great journey, and I've done. 30 hours of playing Rollo now, which is still amazing to kind of to think about how, how much time I've racked up on screen. And we're doing season four now, which is another 20 hours because we're doing 20 episodes of season four. So yeah, it's been an incredible whirlwind journey, and, and I'm loving every second of it. Oh, I am a lot of a lot of a lot of actors read for for Ragnar, Rollo, and Floki, and uh, my my very first audition was to play uh, Rollo, and then I went on a big journey of, of auditioning to play Ragnar, um, and then. It got down to the last few, and they, and they chose the right guy, and they got Travis Fimmel, who's been incredible in the role. And I think Rollo was originally written to be a lot older. He was written to be the cousin of, of, of Ragnar, and he was more of the, the ho, 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 jolly Viking. He's drinking, and he's you know, a bit like uh, maybe uh, Obelix in Asterix and Obelix. Uh, and then and Michael, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's the biggest compliment I can get is he changed the character to a younger character and to be the brother of Ragnar. And, and, and here I am. So it's been great to work with Michael and, and develop um, Rollo into a living, breathing, you know, dimensional character with loads of layers. It's been it's been a great experience. I um, uh, with with martial arts training, and um, and I used to do a lot of contemporary dance as well, which is very different than to, 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 to all the fighting. Uh, but it, it helps you with the choreography of the fighting. You pick up things a lot quicker. Um, and the one thing that is very hard to learn uh, in a short space of time is, is getting that intention through, committing to a move and having, an, uh, you know, having belief that you're not actually going to take someone's head off or vice versa, to, to actually wait until the last second to block a blade and know that it's all going to be fine. There's a lot of people that, you know, their, their nerves get in the way and they don't kind of really follow through and that's when injuries happen. So that kind of thing has helped me. But, um, but it's just, I think... I can take a punch, and sometimes that's, that's some of the best stuff we've done in Vikings has been. Uh, you might you might rehearse something in the, the comfort of we have a like a, a giant hangar, which is the stunt that we call the stunt hangar. It's where you learn all of your stunts in the comfort of, uh, of a pre-production of that episode, and then when you get to set, you might be filming at the top of a mountain, and mud mud will be up to your shins, and and what you learn in the comfort of a room like this, you'll suddenly be on the floor slipping and sliding, and, and people are coming at you from different directions. Uh, and you have to just keep shooting. If you've got hundreds of people who've got their own choreography running around in the background, and it's your close up, and you just go, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, can we just, I've gone wrong. You know, then you probably will be lynched by everybody on the, on the set. So you just keep going. And sometimes when you get hit in the face by a shield, and, and you know, or you get tripped over, and some, some of that choreography ends up being on the floor, it's the best moment. And it's gold for a director because you really can see the fear and the anger and the, and the, and the pain in, in, in the actor's eyes. And, I'm a big fan of doing all my own stunts because I think that enables the audience to really be in the, the show with you. If, you. if it's in a battle, I want to bring the audience into the shield wall. You need to see me, you need to see the Ragnar, you need to see Floki, because um, you're on their journey. But they're not superheroes. They, they could die at any moment. You need to feel that and, and go on their storyline through a fight. And for actors who shy away from that, then all the director can film is the back of their heads or from, from long distance shots. And you, you don't really feel in there. And, yeah, I feel it's a responsibility as of an actor. I mean, it's a show called Vikings. It does exactly what it said on the tin. If you're going to complain, then you've got to start questioning why you signed up to do it in the first place.